Is it worth doing a PhD in India? Are we fooling the next generation by saying that there is a lot of scope about PhD and then uh, we are putting them into a dark tunnel? Well, many such unanswered questions keep keeps coming to us. And today I want to answer one of them and that is, is doing PhD worth your time or not? Very important fact. Jab India my internet shuru hua, when internet started in India, we were very happy and excited that now we will be one click away from right information. But we forgot one thing that how do you decide what is right and what is wrong? And that's where the real dilemma started. When we started Biotechnica in the year of 2006, the sole aim was to promote biosciences and to let people reach out to the right opportunities and help them grow in their career. But over a period of years, we realized that misinformation spreads faster than information. I'll give you an example. Please go to YouTube today and in the search bar, just type the dark truth off and you see all the list of videos which pop up. You will see that all the videos have let, you know more than 5 million or so views or 1 million views. But why exactly these videos have so many views? The truth is because you know, we all want to know the secret, the re little real secret behind everything, whether it is Radhe Ma or whether it is cricket or whether it is modeling or whether it is Bollywood. We all want to know the dark secret. It's a human psychology. So the YouTubers of today are exploiting this human psychology. And because of that, you know, this kind of question starts popping up. The misinformation is spreading more. And now the question which popped up a few days before CSI and exam is, is PhD doing worth in India? Is it worth our time? Are we, you know, sending our uh, children into a dark tunnel? The next generation, are we misleading them? So I think we should answer that question now. And in one of my videos, I also said that if you really want to ask about the scope of biotech sector or any sector, see, it's a demand and supply problem. Employment as well as unemployment is a demand and supply problem. If there is a lot of demand, less of supply, then you will get high paying jobs in that particular uh, field. If it is something wherein there is a lot of supply but less of demand, you will get low salary jobs. This is how the industry works, no matter which industry you go, whether it is mechanical engineering, civil engineering, or electrical engineering, or computer sciences, or biotechnology, or pharma sector, any sector you go. Okay, so today I'm going to answer this question for you, is PhD worth doing? Now, I have divided this video into five parts. The first is I'm going to talk about the dark truth, which is uh, very exciting. The lightened path, lightened path, which uh, you should know. Then I'm going to show the true facts. And then uh, I'll talk about who should do it and who should not do it. Now, since I have spent 16 years now into the industry, I have interviewed and met several CEOs, CSOs and COOs of various pharmaceutical and biotech companies. And I have been blessed to be in Bangalore, which is also called the Mecca of biotech sector in India. So I'm going to tell you everything from my personal experience and it's totally unbiased about anything. I'm not going to favor the biotech and pharma industry, nor I'm going to criticize. I'm going to put true facts in front of you, lest you should judge. So let's start with the more exciting fact and that is the truth. So the truth is negative mindset leads to negative results. If I go in thinking that I can never ever study mathematics, can I really master mathematics? The truth is no, I cannot. So that's one thing which you have to keep, whether you're listening to my videos or any video on the internet. Remember this, anybody who is trying to influence you in a negative manner, probably he is he or she is not telling the truth, whether he, you know negative videos grow faster on YouTube, so they are into the views economy. So that's my second point. You are living in the views economy. Now you should know this, in the views economy, if somebody gets you know 10 crore views, that will be equal to 40, 42 lakh rupees okay in the views economy somebody gets 10 lakh views or say 100 lakhs views or sorry 1 crore views it is equal to 42 lakh rupees so obviously they will try that so if they, if they know that okay making a negative media video will get me views they'll do it okay no matter whether it means misguiding you and that's my third point many people on youtube are on youtube because they could never get a job in industry 
तो रिजल्ट क्या हुआ कि जब लोमड़ी को अंगूर नहीं मिले तो उसने कहा अंगूर खट्टे हैं ओके एंड नाउ दे आर इन टू द्यूज इकोनॉमी सो दे थिंक अरे व्यूज बढ़ाना है तो क्या करना है कुछ भी डायरेक्ट रूथ बोल दो दे विल गिव यू रॉन्ग एडवाइस इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ग्रो इन एनी इंडस्ट्री यू शुड गो इन विथ ऑप्टिमिजम सी आई मेड ए वीडियो ऑन पी एच डी इन यूएसए ओके नाउ my video is totally neutral but some people saw it from a positive attitude they said i want to go to P usa some people saw it from negative attitude they only saw the problems you will face in usa they said i don't want to go to usa so it's all about mindset your actions your achievements are a subset of your mindset it has nothing to do with your field now there are many people who have never worked even a single day in the industry but they are on youtube they know how to make a video opinions are the cheapest commodity in this world so banara isn't it so that's how that's what is happening now coming to the true facts the light and path is something which you should know now you have to follow the right people on youtube if you are following the wrong people on youtube they are going to misguide you and sadly there are very less right people on youtube and why there are less because most of them are either absorbed in the industry they're too busy with their life and family that they don't have time to make a youtube channel or a video however i will tell you there are some people who are really knowledgeable i will give you example of you know uh, prabhakaran sir in biotechnica and uh, our um, farhan zameer sir each time i interact with them till date they never abused the industry saying that industry mein sir scope nahi hai they said if you go in with the positive mindset you are going to achieve success so follow the right people on youtube next experienced people with the right mix of knowledge will benefit you if you are thinking that uh, you you know you really want to know something about youtube bahut aasan hai but wahan par bhi you have to find the right people if you don't find the right people you are not going to achieve success so this is about the light and path and, and the dark truth now coming to the real fact sachai jo hai main aapke samne rakhunga and it is you have in india you have academia you have central labs and you have industry then you have industry administrative jobs then you have the coaching industry and then you can go abroad so these are the six things which in which i can divide now in academia you can get into professor assistant professor then you can guide some students also If you get into the central labs like CSR labs, you can become research scientist, scientist A, B, one, two, three, जो भी होता है, and then uh, for that you obviously need to qualify CSR. And then in the industry, if you get in, you I have created a you know biotech career ladder video. You can check that out. So you you have research scientist, various types of research scientist, QA, QC, clinical research, manufacturing, formulation development, बहुत सारे opportunities हैं. Okay. Now in administrative, if you get in, so वहाँ पर Uh, in the college you can become a hod in the uh, company you can become a ceo co entrepreneur these things in administrative you can one of these is me which is entrepreneur now next is coaching industry if you get into the coaching industry you can easily become a teacher there you can teach students online offline whatever it is now coming to abroad in abroad also you have academia and industry so in academia you can become a post doc and you can become a professor also if you get into industry you can become a scientist different type of scientist i have already discussed in the uh, previous videos which you can refer on youtube okay so now this is exactly the true facts i'm not going in deep details here but i just wanted to क्रिएट दिस लाइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू कि देखो जो भी इंसान आपके पास आके कह रहा है कि देर इज नो स्कोप इन द इंडस्ट्री एंड वन मोर पॉइंट दिस से इज यू नो वंस यू गेट इन टू द जॉब सो यू आर देयर फॉर द नेक्स्ट सिक्सटी ईयर्स नो बडी कैन रिमूव यू सो यू नो देर इज नो स्कोप जस्ट लुक एट द इंडस्ट्री इन्वेस्टमेंट विच इज हैपनिंग इन द बायोटेक इंडस्ट्री ग्लोबली एज वेल एज इन इंडिया थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड करोर रिलायंस इज इन्वेस्टिंग इन देयर जीन थेरेपी रिलायंस लाइफ साइंस जस्ट जीन थेरेपी टेक्नोलॉजी so imagine abhi 3600 crore uh, spend karke wo monkey ko hire karenge ki biotech professionals ko hire karenge batao mujhe right so aisa kehna galat hai ha struggle hai so now my question uh, my answer to you is who is who should do and who should not do usko hum dekhte hain we will look at that now who should do people who want to grow in this field ab dekho maine bachpan se cricket khela to mujhe cricket mein hi aage badhna hai so that's logic theek hai but ये चीज समझ लो कि योर पाथ विल बी फुल ऑफ स्ट्रगल्स हम सब स्ट्रगल करते हैं कर रहे हैं और ऐसा नहीं है कि कोई नहीं करेगा आप पीएचडी करोगे या ना करोगे स्ट्रगल तो करना है ओके नाउ हु वांट टू ग्रो इन दिस फील्ड शुड हु प्लेस दिस गेम विल हैव टू स्ट्रगल नाउ मान लो डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल तक क्रिकेट खेल लिया आप बोलोगे नहीं नेशनल लेवल नहीं जाना है बिकॉज स्ट्रगल है 
तो ये तो इट्स एज गुड अभी जो डिस्ट्रिक्ट लेवल तक क्रिकेट खेला है उसको नेशनल टीम में सेलेक्ट होना उतना ही डिफिकल्ट है जितना आपको यू नो बायोटेक कंपनी में सेलेक्ट होना इट्स ऑल द सेम नाउ हु शुड नॉट डू बहुत लोग थक जाते हैं पढ़ते पढ़ते थक गए सो पीपल हु वांट टू स्टार्ट अर्निंग इमिडिएटली ओके ठीक है आप ले सकते हो बट याद रखना एक बार जब लक्ष्मी आने लगती है वंस यू स्टार्ट गेटिंग सैलरी यू गेट एडिक्टेड टू सैलरी गोइंग बैक टू स्टडीज इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट नेक्स्ट यू विल हैव टू स्ट्रगल यहां पर भी स्ट्रगल है ऐसा नहीं है आपको स्ट्रगल नहीं करना पड़ेगा करना ही पड़ेगा कुछ लोग एम कर लेते हैं लेकिन एम में भी एक प्रॉब्लम है वो प्रॉब्लम यह है कि ये तो पीएचडी करने से भी ज्यादा टफ है इट इज टफर देन पीएचडी इट इज मोर चैलेंजिंग देन पीएचडी क्योंकि आप जो पढ़ते आए हो उसको में ही पीएचडी कर रहे हो बायो साइंसेज में ही कर रहे हो सो इट्स इजी बट वेन यू गेट इन लाइक ओके इट्स लाइक अ क्रिकेटर गोइंग टू ओलंपिक्स एंड डूइंग वेट लिफ्टिंग होगा उससे नहीं होगा सो so, ये भी आप मैं ये नहीं कर रहा हूं आपको नहीं करना चाहिए हाँ आपको आपको पैसे की जरूरत है यू वॉन्ट गेट इन टू द अर्निंग बैंड वैग ऑन इमिडिएटली तो इस ट्रेडमिल पे आप चढ़ जाइए इमिडिएटली यू कैन गो आफ्टर एम एस इन स्टार्ट अर्निंग तो ट्रू फैक्ट्स आपके सामने हैं द ट्रू फैक्ट्स आर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू द डार्क फैक्ट्स आर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू द ट्रूथ इज कि एनी इंडस्ट्री यू गो यू नो यू आज के इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर वो वो बोलेगा कुछ स्कोप नहीं है अब्रोड ही जाना पड़ता है यू आज के कंप्यूटर इंजीनियर हिल्स नो नो बी टेक या कोई फायदा नहीं आई वॉन्ट टू डू पी एच डी फ्रॉम कैनेडा यू यू आज साइंटिस्ट इन अ सी एस आई आर लाइव ही विल से नहीं नहीं आई एम नॉट सेटिस्फाइड मेरा क्वेश्चन ये सेटिस्फाइड कौन है कोई सेटिस्फाइड नहीं है इट इज जस्ट दैट वी ऑल इट्स अ माइंड प्रॉब्लम इट इज नथिंग टू डू विद द फील्ड प्रॉब्लम इट्स अ माइंड प्रॉब्लम तो माइंड को समझाओ कि स्ट्रगल सबको करना पड़ता है इट इज जस्ट दैट आई वॉन्ट टू स्ट्रगल इन दिस फील्ड एंड ग्रो समबडी वॉन्ट्स टू डू समथिंग एल्स ठीक है सो Another very important fact which I would like to highlight here, and that is, देखो, when you get into any industry, if your passion is your fashion, ठीक है, जो आपको पसंद है, वो ही आप कर रहे हो, पढ़ रहे हो या कर रहे हो, तो you will enjoy. And when you will enjoy, you you will get job satisfaction. तो मान लो कि till post graduate level you studied biology, bio sciences, now you suddenly change the field and become an MBA HR. You become an HR in a company. and you are doing recruitment if you are not enjoying paise aa rahe hain but it's of no use then money will make you a robot but paise aane chahiye correct but apni field se aaye to aap enjoy bhi kar rahe ho aur paise bhi aa rahe so this is what you should think about now i don't want to misguide any one of you aapka choice hona chahiye you want to go for phd or msc ke baad you want to get into a job but remember एक ही बॉटम लाइन है अगर आपको आपका पढ़ाई पसंद है इफ यू लव योर स्टडीज इफ यू लाइक योर फील्ड देन ग्रो इन द फील्ड इफ यू हेट योर फील्ड लीव द फील्ड नो प्रॉब्लम एट ऑल ठीक है कोई गलत नहीं है कोई सही नहीं है नहीं ये फील्ड गलत है ना वो फील्ड गलत है सब सही ऑल आर गुड ओके बट माइंड सेट करेक्ट करके जाइएगा यू गोइंग टू ग्रो ओके सो विद दीज थॉट आई एम गोइंग टू एंड दिस वीडियो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग और कोई डार्कनेस नहीं है यहाँ पे सब लाइट है सब चंगा है थैंक यू सो मच टेक केयर मिलते हैं अगले वीडियो में बाय बाय